Super Mario Odyssey! Hey guys, we're back from our uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Welcome. Hey guys in the chat, Alan, Kyote, Broke. How you guys doing? Hey, Phil. How you doing? <laughs> Welcome, man. So we're going to try a different world here. Uh, I think we we left off here last time. I forget what we were doing. We were fighting a bunch of guys. We kept dying. We'll come back here later. You guys have a preference for which level? Uh, in case everyone doesn't know, we're basically just going around collecting moons because we've uh, finished the game already. There's a ton of moons. We've only got 288 and there are like 900 and something. So there's a ton of secret stuff to do. We've gone through, uh, well, these three. So starting from, I think we did a couple in the Sand Kingdom too. Cersei level, which one's that, bud? I say anywhere from here onward, one of these levels. So either lake, wooded, cloud, or well. <laughs> Basically a shot in the dark, I don't remember much. They don't tell you um, like how many you missed in the level when you're there. Dark side, that's where we were last time. Oh, I see. That's where we are right now. All there is is one, uh, you have to go through a bunch of bosses and kill them. But it's pretty difficult. You were watching last time, weren't you? You kept dying. I at least need to get one of those, uh, those hearts that give you more, like three more hits. Although I came pretty close the last time, but uh, I figure we started out with it something a bit more exciting than that. Although you guys might find it entertaining for me to die. Which shows that. <laughs> well, I was guessing you weren't talking about Game of Thrones. Well, that's uh, interesting, Broke. Okay, I'm just going to pick a random one if nobody cares. <laughs> I don't really even... I'm pretty easy tonight. I'll probably go through a bunch of them. Let's just start with... Uh... Oh, I don't want to do a water level. Either wood or cloud. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question, Phil. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say... Actually, let's do some... Mm. Let's do Metro, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll switch to the seaside. <laughs> nice, bro. I remember when I saw the trailer for this, I thought this this actually kind of worried me, this level. Hey, Joe. How you doing? Okay, we'll get that thing, then we'll go to Seaside. Pretty good, man. Just taking it easy. Kind of quiet day today, so 
No stress. It's always good. Okay, so there's still a bunch that I haven't gotten here. Hey, analysis. How you doing? Yeah, that's... Uh, so basically, when you're playing through this game the first time, those like me metallic cubes are all over the place. But you can't do anything with them. And after you finish the game, you can. And it gives you more objectives, basically, to do. So it's kind of cool. There's, a, there's so much replay value in this game. Okay, I have to get that one. It's right there. Hey, you know. <laughs> I, don't know. I always giggle with that. Okay, we'll go to uh, Seaside to learn to see that. I just saw it too late. Going good here, man. Hey, I was on uh, PS4 earlier, and I don't know if this was saying like live or not, but uh, are you playing Persona 4, uh, 5 right now? Analysis? What was it? Seaside? I gotta change that a bit quick. I don't know if he's playing. I thought I just saw it on, on PSN. <laughs> and broke. Everybody doesn't want to stream. I never would have thought of it until you know a couple months ago. That guy's just pouring. Oop, spilling apparently. Shit. Sorry. One second. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's funny. How are you liking it so far, though? I've been uh, looking forward to that game as well. I'm not sure if people would be interested in that being streamed, though. RPGs are a bit different. But I'll probably just stream anything I play, to be honest. I thought I could take him because he has a hat on. Okay, where's the, uh... <laughs> there it is. Oh, 
Yeah, I know. I just don't know how much the fun there are for people to watch, though. Well, it depends how much time I put into it, right? Like, in terms of, like, in a short period, but... Yeah, they, I mean, even any of the ones... Like, I am going to play Final Fantasy 7 and 6, and that'll be going for a long... Hey, Cheyenne. Oh, that sucks. No, you can change the outfit based on... Uh, and there are different parts in each level. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good to hear. Sorry, yeah, Phil. So each level has like a different theme kind of, and you can buy outfits for that level. So there was like a, a level where there was kind of like a... Uh, kind of the Day of the Dead motif, and... Uh, the neat, I mean, usually it's just, you know, colorful add-ons, but there are actually some, uh, some parts of the level that you can't get to unless you have the proper. Hey, Ayan. Oh, Cheyenne, I don't know if you could hear, uh, last stream, but I did add you after the stream on, uh, PSN. I think it worked, though, I'm not sure. Just want to give it a heads up. No, don't want to play volleyball. You can play volleyball. <laughs> hey, Kyoto. Oh, I can't wait for Last of Us 2. Sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained tonight, guys. Uh, what do we want to do? I think I've already done this post here. Oh, I was going to change my outfit, right? No, okay, I messed it up. Haha, <laughs> oops. So in case people don't know, water levels are like the bane of my existence, so... They're my least favorite levels. This is kind of, this isn't a full... Oh, hey, Super. How you doing? Still haven't had a chance to play uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 yet. It's happening tonight. <laughs> Alright, Mario games are awesome. I really want to play the old ones too. Like I've been kind of itching to play uh, Super Mario 2 for some reason lately. Um, plus I've still got Yoshi's Island to play on the, uh, the Super Nintendo Classic. Which apparently are starting to show up in stocks again. They're in stock in stores. And uh, what else was there? I forget, there was something else I was looking at today. I know, man. What are you at now? Yeah, I know. I was looking at... Uh, what was the store I was, what I was looking at today? Well, in Canada, they showed up on Amazon randomly. And uh, last week, I've been kind of trying to retweet it on Twitter whenever I saw stuff in the States. Um... Like Target had them recently, and someone someone else has had them, or is going to get them. Re so stock's showing up, but that's good news. Analysis told me about this guy um, on uh, on Twitter that's really good, and that's what I've been seeing. What is it? It's like Wario sixty four or something. So if anybody's on Twitter, check that guy out, or just search for that name Wario sixty four. I find it really useful. He just basically tweets out or posts whenever he sees stock. I don't know how he gets that, but it's pretty accurate. Oh, hey there. Don't die. Ah. 
Oh, 36 hours. Nice. Yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> He's a wizard, yeah. You must just have access to the stock bubbles. Like, a lot of those stores, you can access it through the web because a lot of their, their POS systems are... Not necessarily their POS, but their like, stock management systems are web-based. And uh, if they allow access from outside, which a lot of them do, because that's how a lot of them communicate, like, say, like, corporate. Uh, I don't know if you guys know the term API, but basically... It's basically a way you can interact with an app and be able to use, like, functionality. I'm guessing that's how he does it. It just has access to a, a code or a key, basically, that allows some access to Sorry, it was a little technical there. I'm so not paying attention right now, though. Or not enough attention. Ooh! <laughs> if anyone's thinking about getting a Switch for, uh, like, around Christmas or at all, this game is a must-play. I mean, that's probably not a terribly surprising thing, but, uh... It's, it's an awesome game. Born away, basically. Hmm. Yeah, Phil, have you seen any gameplay from this this game before? Because that's kind of the neat thing about this one is that the hat. Like, I thought it, I wasn't sure how it was gonna work out, but it actually really is quite awesome. You can take over enemies and play. Like, it just really adds a lot to the gameplay. No, thanks for stopping by, Super. Have fun. <laughs> I'll probably I might stream later on tonight, although that's gonna be late for you. But uh, definitely on the weekend, I'll be streaming, uh, whether it's from here or from. So I'm, I'm looking forward to a big time though. <laughs> awesome, man. I appreciate it. Okay, Phil. So you haven't seen anything. So yeah, basically what happens here, I'll, I'll try to find a place where I can show you. But it's really neat, like all of the villains, you can take over by throwing your hat at them. Um, so if I went to, uh, like if you go to, here I'll show you right here. I mean, I don't know if we've seen these guys before. But see now I'm this guy, so I got all his powers. And uh, like if I did, if that fish here. I can take over the fish and then become a fish. And you can become like a bullet, like one of those bullet bull guys. It just really adds quite a bit. <laughs> Alright man. Well I'll see how long I can go on this one. Oh, I died. But I might stream afterwards then. Have a good one though man. Thanks for checking in. What are the other cool things? Like, there's just so many applications. It's not just like one thing. It's not just, hey, I've got a hat, I can kill guys with it. Like, they actually really did. Uh, it actually adds a lot to the gameplay. Dude, that's what I want to do. Oh, sweet. Yeah, exactly. So you're not really... I mean, you can still get uh, different powers, but generally it's, it's the hat that's going to do it and the guys. It's a really different take on the game, which is neat. Um, it's the first game that's really tried a lot of different things, so... Because Mario's kind of played it safe, especially since uh, Mario Sunshine. So it's cool. It's encouraging to see them trying to... I can't get up there. Oh, not without one of those guys. Okay, let's see if I can... Also, you don't get lives. I think it's the first game you don't get lives. You don't get, like, one-up mushrooms. It's all based on coins. <clears throat> so basically, every time I die, it'll take a certain number of coins away. 
Which is kind of neat, too, because... Uh, oh, this is kind of interesting, but I've already got this one. Basically, this one uses the uh, vibration. It's got some sort of special vibration thing in the controller. So it gives you kind of like a 3D effect. So basically, right now, it's vibrating in certain directions to tell me where this hidden thing is. Um, so obviously, on the stream, it just looks like we're walking around in circles, but... It's actually kind of hard, but once I find it, you'd get a... Somewhere around here. You can't take these guys over, they're too small. Oh, was that just a trap? Ha! <laughs> that's hilarious that's what that was. Decoy? I think it was. That's hilarious. So that was just tricking me. Okay, I'll try to find some more exciting so you can see it. But these levels are massive, like, I don't know. That's the level here. Ingo. Well, I can warp there, that's kinda cool. You can stack them too. And there are parts where that actually becomes a thing you need to do. Although I'm not really sure what here we're doing. You can just kind of like wander around this game now. The music's all you know, obviously good. This is a little too relaxing, maybe. There's also an underwater component here. And this level. Yeah, Cheyenne, you'd, you'd love it. It's a great game. I mean, it's one of my top... I'd say it's one of my top three Mario games. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is such a strong year for the Switch. Um, so anyone that hasn't got one yet, it's even better because you don't have to wait for any of these games. Like, they're already good to go. Okay, that's what I wanted to go back to that, uh... But yeah, like you're gonna have like a Zelda, like a, one of the best Zeldas, and uh, and Mario Gal, uh, not Galaxy. I keep wanting to say Galaxy. Uh, Mario Odyssey, off the bat, which is huge. Yeah, I don't know. What would you say, analysis? Like, I I think it's, I think it's the. If I if this was the first. Favorite 3D. See, but remember, I haven't finished Mario 64. So wait until I finish that, and I'll be able to give a better assessment. But my favorite Mario games right now, again, without Mario 64. Okay, give me a second here. Let me think this over. I always hate to say the, the lists. Um, oh, I don't know. Okay, let's say top five of all time. All right, Joe, good luck. See you in a bit. Oh, I don't know, man. I, I loved, I loved uh, Galaxy Two. Like it would be between, it would be between this and Galaxy, basically, for me. Although you know what, uh, I was really surprised by uh, Super Mario 3D World. I did not expect to like that as much as I did. It's so difficult though, to tell, like, if we're talking about what's the best game or what was, you know, the most influential game on for me, right? It's different. It's also going to be what you grew up with, too, right? Yeah, the buddy. <laughs> okay, one sec. What's number one? Sunshine's number one, really? Well, that's impressive. I seldom hear that. Because a lot of people thought... Just didn't like the mechanic. Also, GameCube wasn't as popular as it could have been. It is a neat game, though. I want to replay that one again, too. I, I, it's been a little while. 
for me, top game Mario overall is going to be either... It's probably Super Mario World. And a very close second would be Super Mario 3. And then it's either Galaxy or uh, this one. And this one's such a bigger game than Galaxy, though. That's what I, that's what kind of edges me that way. Plus, I think uh, it just did so many newer things. Like, Galaxy was, it was a great game. But how much did it do that? I, I gotta replay that one again, too. But you know what? This is... It's like you're comparing, you know, one of the safest... Uh, safest franchises, you know, in video games, aside from Zelda, in terms of there's no bad Marios. Except for CDI, but we won't talk about that. And that's not Nintendo's doing. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, I think I saw one over here. We'll flip around between levels so you can get a good view of all the different stuff that's going on here. But yeah, it's so difficult. It's going to be so subjective, too. Really? That's... Well, you know what? Analysis, again, I've got to withhold judgment until uh, I finish Mario 64. Because I know it's going to be a top five for me. Unless I'm really dissatisfied with it, which I don't imagine I'll be. But you put uh, Super Mario 3D World in front of uh, Odyssey. See, I, I said that surprised, but I was really surprised at how much I liked that game. So I, you know what? I don't like doing this. <laughs> Let's just say that. Like, the key is that Mario is a solid franchise for a lot of, like, you know, generational level games. So... That's what I'm going to leave it at. Because there's no Mario game I don't like. Although I haven't played uh, the Game Boy ones. I played the original Super Mario Land, like a tiny bit. I never had it. I just remember I like this, one of the songs. <laughs> oh, for sure, Jan. Uh, we streamed uh, Super Mario 3 a couple weeks ago. Um, and I'm going to play all the originals. Like, I'll play through all the Mario Marios. <laughs> I must have said that wrong. Um, same with the Zeldas. I'll play them all. But that, yeah, I was saying earlier before you got here, I am uh, I was thinking about playing Super Mario 2 today. So over the course of the next couple months, I'll be playing all of them. I've got... I think I've got all of them. All the Marios. Like, Mario games, I mean. Uh, except for the, again, the Super Mario... Sorry, the, the Super Mario Land games I don't have. Yeah, you said that analysis. That's surprise. It was a big game for me. Um, and it's so different. And it's difficult now that you know the history, right? Of it basically not being a rebranded or a skinned, reskinned or themed other game. Like a game that was actually released, which is crazy. We didn't know that at the time, right? But uh, it is a good one. It's the, probably the most different Mario game out of... Oh, oh, what are we doing here? Sorry. I don't know, I always like Toad. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, Luigi's got the jumping. Uh, he's got... How much do we have? We don't have enough here to do both of them, so we're not going to bother. Of course we will. So how can I change here? There's some more down there. Let's go get those. Yeah, the only thing I didn't like about Luigi... I, I like Luigi as a character, big time. But he's so... Um, He's not as responsive, if that makes sense. Like, he's got a bit of a delay. So that's the downside of him. That's why I like Toad the, much, the most, because his response time is the quickest. But that's about all that he's good for. His speed's pretty good. Yeah, the leg kicks are hilarious. <laughs> oh, what have you got, Shan? Okay. 
The only thing I miss in this game that was in uh, Super Mario 3D World is the cat suit. That was surprisingly fun to use. It was a little OP, but whatever. I don't think there's anything up here. I'm just going to find it. Whoa, that wasn't normal. <laughs> I'm my own worst enemy right now. Oh yeah, I actually want to pick up a, the Genesis. Yeah, it really was. Yeah, hey, it was funny though. Sorry, not funny. It was uh, it was really good. Like it, it was neat to be able to climb up the uh, potato. Oh sweet, yeah, Genesis is a, is a great game, or a great system. Um, actually, seriously, I'm wanting to pick one up. <laughs> I used to have one, but I lost a lot of them. Well, a lot of them were either stolen or, well, that's basically where I lost all of them, unfortunately. But I've gotten almost all my old stuff done over the years. I'm actually going to switch all this here. Just to kind of give you guys a view of different stuff. Oh, nice. I'm jealous. That They're actually the ones that laugh. Like, they hold up the best over time. They, especially the boxes, right? Because they use the old uh, like clamshells instead of... N Nintendo's always used really crappy... Uh, like cardboard, and they don't last. Like the Genesis and the Master System both use plastic, which is uh, obviously a lot to last a lot longer. Uh, I'm playing with the Pro Controller. Yeah, Sonic was a lot of fun. Even the newer one, I haven't played that in a while. I'll pick that up again, Sonic Mania. That was really good. Yeah, I was tempted by that too, Alan. I've seen it. Apparently there's some issues with it, but it does have a ton of good games. Um, I mean, everybody complains about everything, right? So, take it with a grain of salt. Let's do snow. I was actually thinking about playing a bunch of the old Genesis games, because uh, I have a... You know, the, the 360, uh, oh, Streets of Rage is awesome if you like beat-em-ups. It's one of the best beat-em-ups. Back when beat-em-ups were a big thing. Like, Streets of Rage, uh, Final Fight, Double Dragon, like Golden Axe, if you want to count that, is there one of them? Uh, but yeah, Streets of Rage is awesome. That's one of my favorite Genesis games of all time. <laughs> Streets of Rage 2. Streets of Rage 1 is good, too. But yeah, there's a 360 uh, disc, like Genesis, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection or something like that. Oh, Golden Axe is awesome too. Uh, uh, then you've also got like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is also a classic, and like the old X-Men game. Uh, what else was there? Simpsons was a decent one. Battletoads. Yeah, I'll have to definitely play uh, some of those ones, because I... I, I I play them for fun randomly, so I'll, I'll stream if you guys have any interest. Because you can actually finish those games pretty quickly. Not super quickly, but they were like arcade games, right? So they weren't designed to be played whenever you want. They were designed to like eat your quarters. So the games were designed differently back then. And it's kind of obvious if you can have unlimited credits. I like Castle of Illusion. That was a. I, I don't think I've even played World of Illusion, to be honest, but Castle of Illusion I loved. Yeah, me too, man. Final Fight, though, was great as, a, as an arcade. Uh, yeah, no, I loved Castle of Illusion. That was a great game. I actually should play World of Illusion. I, I don't know why I never played it. I never knew it existed at the time. No, I don't want to buy a hint. 
Toad, you're supposed to be my friend. Oh. Like this is, you can just take, you can do anything. Like everything. This is an option. Yeah, Double Dragon's awesome. It was, it was released on a bunch of other systems too, but the NES version isn't amazing. That's what I had. Um, I think that's the only one I had. But yeah, that was like a massive arcade game. That's basically what started that, that genre as being a big deal. I think I've done this, but... Oh, another one. I could probably roll or something, it'd be easier. Oh no. Ha <laughs> Okay, do it. And I've already gotten it. Oh well. Yeah, all those games were much better with, with two players for sure. Um I mean, they were fun, but they're much more fun with uh, multiplayer. I agree. Yeah, it'd be fun. I think I'm going away. Uh, well, it won't change any of this, but I think I'm going to watch over my parents' place because they're going away for a week. So, uh, it'll be fun. I'll bring all, I'll bring all my systems there and get to play on a decent... Uh... I'll see you later, Cheyenne. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. It'll be fun to go there though, because they've got like a massive nice TV. So, <laughs> it'll be different. I mean, not that mine's bad, it's just theirs is a lot better. There we go. I love this song, straight out of Mario 3. I'd say that the, one of the biggest sellers on me, and maybe this is why they just could just be, you know, where I come from in terms of like history and experience and stuff. But I feel like this Mario, aside from like, I'd say this game really did the, t like the nostalgic references well. Like the 2D implementation of this game was totally unnecessary. But added like a just a feel good factor that's uh I don't know, I really appreciated that the two D element. It just feels like a pretty a really well rounded game. I'll be quiet now. Cause they they just took their time with it, it's obvious. Well, I think I've done this one already. And I was it was tricky. Sweet. Did I? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember something like this. Plus the ending. I mean, it was probably the best ending. Oop, that sucked. And I'm sliding. Oh, I have no idea now. I have no idea. <laughs> Pizza! That's terrible. That's a 60. It's tricky because you slide. Oh, 69 is better than I thought. Wah wah. Keep your mustache up. Thanks, bud. Dude's not even wearing a jacket. He's just wearing a hood. That's different. I do want to do it, but I'm just going to suck. Okay, let's try. Okay. It's just really... I guess maybe if you can walk. But then the thing disappears, right? actually not too shabby. That might be an 80. Booyah. Tell me I didn't actually get this and just forgot about it. Yay. Ooh. 
It was funny, the other day I was watching a video, like one of those dumb YouTube videos, right? Alright man, I'll see you later on. Thanks for checking it out. But yeah, the, the video was, uh, it was asking about whether Toad was wearing a hat, or whether it was actually, his head was actually a mushroom. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Obviously it was inconclusive. Because they actually don't even, uh... Nah, I wasn't gonna do it. It was just basically clickbait. And speaking of clickbait, there was another one by some guy who usually does videos on like retro gaming, whatever. I'm not a massive fan of that guy, but he's also friends with a bunch of guys who I do like. So I kind of get when he guests on the channels, I have to see it all the time. Anyway, he did a massive clickbait uh, video about Nintendo 64, like a, a Nintendo, whatever, a classic Nintendo 64. Uh, he said that the list of games was leaked. And you realize halfway through the video that he has absolutely no idea. He's just pulling it out of his ass. And that was, it was just pure clickbait. And that really annoys me. But I still didn't give a dislike. <laughs> I just, I, I want to do, but I never do that. <laughs> I, I, I have such a problem with clickbait. Just because it's a waste of your time, right? Like, they're totally just trying to manipulate you. And I don't really like that. But I still won't do it. <laughs> Welcome back, Joe. Alright, where can we go here? No, oh, he's cold. Yeah, well, I wasn't sub I wasn't subscribed to the guy. I'm not a big fan of him anyway, but he started to... He started to kind of rub you the wrong way, and that kind of put me over the top. But I still... still did. I would have if I had been, but... I just don't really like the whole unlike thing because it's like, I don't know. Although, I guess if it's clickbait, it's not honest. They kind of deserve it, but I just figure I don't have to watch it. But yeah, if I'm subbed to them, uh, I'll probably not be subbed anymore. Because I think, I feel like it's manipulative. Like, I think it's just done to, they're trying to trick people into into views, right? And then it's like, well, what service are you really giving? I don't know. Let's go. How do we do this? Oops. Okay. Problem is, though, half of YouTube is like clickbait. So you really gotta do, you gotta dig to find stuff you like. something? I guess we can go down there. Let's do that. And if we don't find something, we'll just go to the next level. This looks a little suspicious. Am I supposed to plant some here? I don't know. Yeah. I don't think I've been here. Have I? Anyone see a moon? Let's find it. <laughs> Come on. I think it's just corn. 
Let's see, I've been here before. Whatever. Oh, I wanted that one. Can I take this guy? Oh, I don't know my hat. That's a problem. Oh, good. There isn't. Maybe I haven't been here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect to survive that. Yeah, maybe, I, maybe I'm... Maybe I just look similar to something I've done before. Yeah, and it was helpful when I switched the channel from being... Oh, I hear you, man. Ion, I've been really... <laughs> I hear ya. Game of Thrones has been the worst. Like, the community for Game of Thrones, I... I... For that, they've been scraping the barrel for a while. Like, even some of the guys that ended up getting big, like, it's gotten pretty pretty sad, to be honest. I won't say names. But you probably know what I'm talking about. You can say names. I basically have Alan. There hasn't been anything good from Game of Thrones community, I feel, in quite some time. And that's just... But I think you can also kind of get burnt out on it. But I feel like the quality, even toward the end of the, of the season, went down. And I, I, like immediately after the season, it was just like substantially lower. Like, I don't feel like people really tried that hard after uh, the finale of this season. Are you just making names up, Broke? Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know why, that guy kind of always bugged me, so I was never really a fan of him. I, I don't know why that is, it's not really fair, I think it just... I don't know. Oh, that's a big one. Just seemed a little. Alright, I'll stop. Never mind. I shouldn't stop. Yeah, I know, because I also know you've mentioned him before, but I agree with you. But I was never a, a big fan of him. Frame of reference, if he's guesting, I won't watch it, probably. For what it's worth. And I don't even really know what it is. I just don't think it's... I just don't think... I don't know. I'll stop. I just don't enjoy it. Let's just leave it at that. I'm really trying not to do it, because it's not, it's not, you know, it's not nice. And the guy's trying, and he's doing it his way. It's just not the way I'd want to do it. And it's not what I want to watch. And that's it's okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, in fairness, I'm also being recorded here, and I don't want to like, I don't know. I don't want to hurt the guy's feeling. It's not like he's done anything wrong. It's just not what I'm looking for. Yeah, exactly. Alan. Like it's not a personal thing. I guess. It's, but I mean, if someone were to hear you talking about them, they're going to take it personally, right? That's not. That's not the point. I'm not trying to do that. Okay, so I can plant this, but where was where can I plant this? Oh right, right back at the beginning. How do we get back there then? <laughs> Big jump. Oh that isn't what I want. That's not what I want. <laughs> yeah, it is. What'd they say? Trade us? Especially when there's no content. Wait till there's more content. It's hard to sell right now because there's there's not a lot of stuff you can do with it except gaming. The 
Or they probably just see it as an expense that doesn't pay them anything. Oh, have I not caught you? Let's see if I can do it with an acorn. There's no... No. Ah, I did it. Oh, I already got it. Oh, well. Okay, we gotta find that. Oh, there's one randomly up there. And a guy fishing, which is slightly strange. Why am I able to do this? I guess I can just do it. Yeah, Jados, what are you talking about that it won't work? What, did, what have you read? There's no reason why it shouldn't work. If it's if it's 4K, it should be fine. It just might not have, like... Are you talking about 4K or HDR? Because HDR is a bit different. Because there are a couple different standards, and some support one, some support both. Some support... Some actually don't even fully support HDR, but they say they're HDR. And there's really poor regulation right now on the whole HDR thing. Even 4K is a little wonky because 4K on a computer is different than 4K on uh, on a TV. I don't know why they did well. It's got to do with aspect ratios, but it's really silly. Uh, Alan, I'd say not unless you're sitting really close to it. Uh, like a computer monitor can definitely be worth it. Um, a TV can be worth it if you're either sitting really close or if it's massive. So I'd almost say. Like, you can see charts out there, right, for the distance, for, uh, for like, appreciable benefits. I think for a 4K, it's really got to be 60 or bigger. Um, although I can't really attest to that. I haven't watched. But I know that, like, 720, when I was going on about 720 versus 1080p, it has to be pretty big for me to be able to tell the difference. Like, for a smaller TV, unless you're sitting close. But who knows? Maybe people... That could just be me. But Okay, I thought there was like a wasn't there a pot that I was just talking about a little while ago? It has no well ha, It has to have 4K if it says it's 4K. HDR is a different story. It could be one of those like like half lies. Like that might it might support like 60% of HDR, which apparently technically is still HDR. Which to me is ridiculous. If it doesn't adhere to the standard, then you can't say it is something. But that's corporate. I was going to say, well, corporate earth, I guess. Nice. I could go for a new TV. My TV's like still good. Just uh, I could go for a better one. I mean, not a better, like a bigger one. But certainly don't need one. Okay, I'm lost. There was a pot. I can't. Remember. Is that it right there? Yeah, that's it right there. But to be honest, Alan, I'm still using a 720 for my my gaming, uh, and I'm fine with it. Uh, like given the distance that I'm sitting from it and uh, and all that. Like, sports does make a difference for sure. And a lot of it depends on your room. Okay, I've already done this one. I don't want to lose this because I can plant it. I think I get a, a moon, even though this is kind of running around in circles. What matters more than both of those things for gaming, for TV, is the refresh, like, response time, though. I don't know if it's good. What's it called? Refresh rate for a big TV, you want it to be over 60 hertz, and it's funny because most TVs now they're trying to get people to buy based on size. Uh, so it used to be like five, six years ago, like it used to be all about respond or refresh rate. I think that's what they call it for TVs. I can't remember. So they'd have tons of 120 hertz TVs under you know 1500 bucks, but then they started pumping. Uh, like 4K and HDR and all that kind of crap. So they got, they've been using cheaper panels, so t panels are all 60 hertz, and pu putting this other stuff in there. But that'll make a bigger difference for stuff like sports and gaming, like massive difference. Um, so it kind of sucks. I mean, they're still good TVs, just 
you have to spend a ton of money to get a faster panel. To be honest, I'd rather have a separate box. I don't want any of these TV smart capabilities. Like, I'll always use a separate device. Um, because they're better. <laughs> they're always going to be better than whatever Samsung or Sony or whoever puts in there. So how am I going to get... I don't know. I must be just having one of those dumb days. Oh, right. Okay, can I put this down? Or do I lose it? I'm sorry. Don't disappear. Yeah, I just use a... I think you guys have more options down there than I do. Um, I just use an Apple TV. But I know down there, like, Roku's are good, and I don't know what else there is. You got a bunch of different options that we do here, for whatever reason. I think we have Roku's now, but it's not, it's not the same stuff on it. Oops. Okay. Come on, buddy. Pick it up. Oops. There we go. Oh, sweet. It's a beanstalk. Okay, we're getting on that. Yeah, I know. I've heard good things about them. Oh, nice. I like the music. It's a throwback, too. Ooh, why did I do that? Thank you. Wait a second. I think I have to go back here. There we go. I gotta do the twirl thing. Is this also a... This is Super Mario World though, it's not Super Mario 3 again. Oh, not what I wanted. No. <laughs> I'm going back. Wait a second, I, it's gone now? What? I don't have to go back and get the... Okay, I'll do that later. I'm not doing that again. Right now. That's weak. <laughs> okay, let's do a different one. Oh. Maybe I'll be more focused. Oh, what was your question, man? I didn't see it. Oh, equality? No, man, it looks good. I was surprised when you told me what you were recording with. Like, honestly, it's uh, it looked fine. In fact, I thought it looked good. If that's what you're talking about, I don't know if that's the same post. I didn't see that one, though. Chat's been busier tonight. No, man, I think it does look good. I'm not kidding. I mean, I'm sure there are other things you could buy, but I wouldn't be in a hurry to buy stuff. Even, like, the audio quality, like, uh... Honestly, man. I wouldn't lie to you. I watch most of the stuff on my phone, though, to be honest, so... I wouldn't be able to tell. I can try one on my uh, laptop afterwards if you want. But the other trick is, what do you watch it on? Like, are you watching it on like a monitor or something? <laughs> I'll check it out. Tell me which one you think looks green, and I'll watch it after the stream. I'll watch it on my laptop and on my my phone. Okay, we're doing the Wake Kingdom. Even though I don't want to. <laughs> I like it though, it's a beautiful level. I just don't like the other levels.
Now I'm so craving to play like a bunch of beat em ups. It's funny that that came up. Forest Kingdom, I don't really remember it that much. Oh, sorry, Wooded Kingdom, I think you're right. Oh, all right. Easiest moon ever. I don't even, what is that? YouTube rewind. I've never heard of it. I do too. Oh, the zipper things that I cool too in this game. I really want to change out of the surface. I think this is a really cool little mechanic too. It just it just works. I mean, I don't, it doesn't make sense, but it it looks cool. Let's go with that. <laughs> this might be. Oh, I see. How did I pick you up? There we go. Okay, let's go get some. He looks so ridiculous swimming underwater holding an acorn and a sombrero. This way? It's today my lucky day. Mega Man 11, I'm excited for that. I wish it looked a bit more 8-bit or 16-bit, but still, like, I'll pick it up. They're usually pretty hard, though. I used to love, uh, I used to love the look of the Mega Man games. I think I only played the first three, though. Cheap, okay. Okay, well that's obviously not the right place to go. Uh, 
Oh, that's sad. But I want to play this. It's crazy it's the 30th year anniversary or something like that. Like, it's really... It's been a while, I guess. Don't tell me you're not turning back. Oh, he's... Not fair. I can't... It doesn't come back? That's strange. Do you remember when it said it was coming out? Mega Man 11? Probably next year sometime. Oof. Ha! <laughs> I've already gotten it. That's the only frustrating thing is you don't know which ones you've gotten or not. I mean, aside from looking at the map, which I haven't done tonight for not a very good reason. So we've 16 out of 33, so a little less than half. Okay, where are we on this one? So we're there. Why doesn't it show us on this map? Okay, so it actually doesn't show me that. That's the thing I don't get, is some of them do show you the, the ones you don't have and some of them don't. And I can't show you an example of that right now, so never mind. Yeah, Spider-Man looks pretty decent, actually. I like how they handled the web swing, uh, or swing, uh, where it's kind of like a, a quick time event. And I'll be interested to see how it goes with uh, combat, but it definitely looks nice. certain I've gotten this one. Okay, that looks like I maybe haven't gone in there. Let's go in that door. There's such some random dude standing down there. Okay, I'll change my outfit afterwards. Interesting. I'm not sure what I'm making right now. That was actually a cool little puzzle. For just a random little, you know. It's clever. Okay, what was the other thing I learned? Oh, I want to change my. So, can I just. This is so much easier. This is one of my favorite things in the game, is just being able to uh, take over the little you know, the villains you recognize. I didn't do it, but I imagine I did. 
Have we seen any other ones? I just want to get to at least half, or maybe... Like, if they're 900, I want to get to 400 or 500, maybe. I don't have to do all 900. Because it's not as much fun just collecting those things. I mean, it is still fun, but I don't know how much fun it is for you guys to watch. Let me know, though, if it's, uh... If you'd rather me do something else tonight. Like a different Mario game. I can go either way. Like, this is a lot of fun. I just know it's, uh... It's not the same as going through the game for the first time. Because I've still got a ton of Mario games. I want to play like some I've never played like uh, like basically New Super Mario Brothers Wii and New Super, Super Mario Brothers U I have that I've played uh, what else? like Mario 64 obviously which we're doing Kingdom Hearts 3? Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to that too. Hopefully it comes out. I don't know if Broke's still here. He'll say something. He is. I don't even know. I haven't... I'm trying to think. I'll have to look up to see what's supposed to come out this year. So I can't think of any massive ones off the top of my head. Well, I mean, Last of Us 2, 100% now. I'm a convert there. Um, I don't think there's a Final Fantasy coming out. I don't think there's a... Uh, like, there's no Mario, no Zelda. Uh, there's probably one here. I must be missing something. I'm looking forward to the remake of Shadow of the Colossus. I don't know if you guys ever played that. It was on the PS2. Um, what else is coming out? I've already got that one. I'll have to look that up. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Oh, I don't have a... <laughs> I'm trying to throw my hat. Throw my hat there. There we go. I didn't know there was an attack. It's handy. Is there one here? I don't think there was a shark there. I know, Broke. I was gonna play it this, uh. I'll play it soon. Maybe tomorrow. Well, no, you're working tomorrow. When's the next day you're free? You don't. Because now things are complicated because you're working, bud. Which is not, which is good. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely good. I'm just saying I want to make sure I stream it when... Uh... Oh, definitely, man. I'm just trying to juggle too many things. That's my issue. But, uh... What time are you working tomorrow? It'll just change, man. Don't... There'll be some benefits to it, too. Right? You'll adjust. You'll figure it out. Oh, sweet. I don't know if I did this. Did I? Wait, you don't know when you have to go? Or you don't know when you're going until... Because you start tomorrow, right? Yeah. I also haven't streamed uh, much... Well, definitely... That one I haven't done in a little while, for sure. And it might have something to do with the fact we got stuck at that uh, 
the jungle at the end of it. I thought I wasn't it wasn't super fun not knowing where to go. But we'll figure it out. Um Wait a second. I thought it was sh still showing This level's pretty cool actually. Oh, but do you know how long you're in orientation for? So I could do it tomorrow during the day if you want. Like in the afternoon, I mean. I also want to finish Fallout 4. I haven't played Fallout 4 in a little while. And we're pretty close. You can see your channel what? Okay, focus here. Oh, weak. I wanted that. Can I jump high enough yet? Can I? I can't jump. Ah. Boo. And I'm too tall for that. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, let's switch all this. No, man, you won't be. That's the thing. Well, if you work nights, once you get used to nights, you're. I mean, it'll, it'll take you a while to get used to. You might be tired at the beginning, but later you'll be awake during the middle of the night and you'll want stuff to do. What you might do though is you might pick what you, you like the most and you want to do the most and just stick with that. You might cut down the volume. Or the other thing you could do is if you did like a couple of major shows and then you did one like collection show, right? Where you just talked about, you know, take an hour and talk about, well not an hour, but like half an hour or something. And just do quick rundowns of, of a bunch of shows. Phil used to do that on his channel a long time, like a while ago. The other thing is, you can cut down on your editing, right? Although it's kind of tricky doing the reactions. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think you'd like it. Maybe, you know. And just keep doing the discussions when you can, right? So you still have uh, activity. We'll see how it goes. Don't worry about it until you know it's an issue. Did I do cloud? How am I not remembering this? That's what we're gonna do. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> what is it, bro? Oh, I see it's red now, yeah. What's going on here? YouTube just seems not to uh, to like it. See, it's green on my end. Like, once you get... Well, this actually isn't that long. We're only at an hour and 20. But I find the longer you stream, the more issues like that happen. And I don't know if there's any relationship, but it seldom happens at the very beginning of a stream. And I haven't seen any relationship between the number of people watching. So, who knows? Oh, wait, I was here before. No, I wasn't. Sorry. <laughs> Not my most brilliant day. So what happens when I don't get enough sleep? Is it better now, Brooke? Ooh, okay. You're gonna ask me for money, aren't you, buddy? Okay, we're back to green. I don't wanna pay you.
Oh, sweet. I didn't notice. Oh, I, have I done this one? Is this the drawing one? Yeah, I'm hyped, man. I'm, I'm happy people are liking it. Picture mask. Or match, rather. It's a lot of fun doing this for me. It totally reminds me, like, back in the day, like, you know, sitting in a basement or something in front of the TV and everybody just, you know, talking trash or just having fun, whatever. Wait, so am I... Am I having to draw this? I think I am. Oh, no, no, are these the stickers? We did this for Mario before. Yeah, this is tricky. I don't know, I don't have a lot of confidence in this one. I did okay with the, uh, the Mario one. We'll see, <laughs> this is gonna be bad. <laughs> Cause I think you can't see it, you can... Okay, let's see if they do it. Yeah, that's the trick, right? So you're placing like one eye. The Inhumans. Ion, you're still here. <laughs> it's always Inhumans or Porg. Ion gets like a, he hears from a different room type thing. <laughs> yeah, it is exactly Ion. It's like Mario Party. All right. Okay, I have no, like this is gonna be terrible, but let's just do it. crap already. Okay, they left a the little nub here. Okay. But he's not smiling. He's not happy. What am I doing here? Okay, so where are the eyes? I'm guessing he has that color in his eyes. Oh, whoops. Don't they always have their own? Does he have his eyes crossed? I can't. No, he's definitely not that way. <laughs> okay, let's just say there. Do I have a time limit too? Oh, jeez. Okay, his eyebrows. I not have the eyebrows. Oh, that's not what I wanted. For some reason, I, I'm having difficulty. Maybe? Does that look good? Are these eyebrows? That seems pretty intense. I'm gonna... It's gotta be an eyebrow, right? That seems a little intense, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is an eyebrow. Okay, let's put this over here for now. I think it is an eyebrow. Crap, that's not what I wanted. No, oh, that, that's a mistake. Okay, we're not getting sick this time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know. Is that maybe there? I really have no idea. <laughs> okay, well, we already know we're not winning this one. Eyebrows upside. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> That's the funny thing about the uh, the lag. I'm watching it on your screen. <laughs> I, I did let you know. I think I screwed up. The one I totally screwed up. Okay, so that's not terrible. I didn't mean to put it there. I just pressed the trigger by accident. Woohoo! Oh wait, does it have to be 80 or 60? I think it was 60. It actually wasn't terrible. <laughs> this is actually a pretty fun little game, I'm not gonna lie, but it's... <laughs> I love the one on the left hand side. Totally just accidentally hit the trigger. I, <laughs> I don't deserve it for that one eyebrow. The, the wandering eyebrow. Sorry, I get a kick out of this. <laughs> Wait, did he give it to me? Oops.
Oh, you guys are more than 10. You're like probably 20 seconds behind. Weird. Maybe not that much. Maybe 15. A bit more than usual, though. Have we talked to her yet? I agree. Yes. Sweet. So, I mean, they, there are like 900 oh. moons in the game, right? But some of them are these, like, gimme ones. That's okay, I can handle that. Oh, next year, I don't know if Metroid Prime's, Prime's coming out next year. I don't think it is, but if it is, that's one I'm pretty hyped about. I, it's probably going to be 2019. Um, I don't know if anything else is coming out. I'm still thinking about the question about what's the most exciting games for next year. God of War coming out next year? Okay, then that's definitely on my list. Sorry, I got real excited by that. <laughs> I'm a big God of War fan. Actually, that's another series I want to play on here. Uh, it's kind of the same period, so Uncharted, Bioshock, God of War. What else? Probably uh, Mass Effect. I love the Mass Effect series. Um, all the follow-ups, of course. What else? I've got a long list. <laughs> I've got games to play for a while. Which is good news. I'm excited. I don't think I've been here. This kind of neat. Metroid Prime is the one I want to do. Um, or basically any of the Metroids, but definitely Metroid Prime and then uh, the ones that came out for the Game Boy Advance. What else? Castlevania? There's some really good Castlevanias. I'm just listing off games I like, guys. You can stop me anytime. Yeah, I'm all about... Metroid Prime will hop in sometime in the next two or three months. I'm very excited to play that one. That was another game that I thought was really weird. That they were going to translate like one of the classic 2D games to a 3D. Like it looked like a shooter. It wasn't. Like it pulled. They pulled it off amazingly. I was sold. Hey Adam. Oh, you're already here. Sorry about that. <laughs> but that is an awesome series. Uh, one of my favorite in the last, you know, 10 years or whatever. Was it? I didn't know that. Um, what other games? I'm 
We're just thinking about game selling. <laughs> this is this is what I'm doing for some reason. Oh, that was just an extra one. Cool. Interesting. Okay, that silly. Let's go, buddy. Alright, bro. See you later, man. Let me know when you get... Well, good luck tomorrow, eh? And uh, let me know when you get off if you want to... I can stream during the day. Well, in the afternoon, at least. Have a good night, man. Let's try a different level just for fun, unless I see something obvious around here, which I don't. You guys have a preference? What will we play next? Oof. Okay, that was close. I guess it'll probably be easier once we know what levels we have. I think we've cracked 300 though. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Kingdom, Metro. Metro probably is a lot. Let's do Metro. Oh, water level? <laughs> oh, we just did one. Is there another one? Okay, we did Lake. Um, I think we might have done all of them. Seaside we did before. Luncheon's not one. Ruins not one. <laughs> Are you just trolling me? <laughs> Okay, we'll go back to Seaside in a little bit. I'm thinking uh, either Sand or Metro. I don't remember what Lost Kingdom is. The one with DK? Which one's that? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. Okay, let's do... Um, this one, because I don't remember what it is. <laughs> We're all indecisive. It's all good. I just picked a random one. But it's kind of like Breath of the Wild, though, with the Koroks, like... I don't think you could actually get all 900 of them without spending a ton of time unless you're using a guide. Because, uh... I mean, that's not to say, like, I'm some amazing player or anything, but, like, I spent a fair bit of time looking around some of them. Sometimes I've only gotten about half of the... the moons. I mean, not all of them, because we just started doing this recently, but... If there are that many, right? If I'm at 300, that's, you know, three times more. Uh, I don't know. But I guess in Breath of the Wild, like, I actually spent probably 
like a significant amount of time looking for them, and I'm still only at... I haven't touched it in a while, the original playthrough, but I, I was at like 260, right? And that was... There are 900 there. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, it's cool, but I don't think I'll get all of them. And lastly, I just get frustrated and use a guide. Or a map or something. Which is possible. But I kind of just want to play as long as it's fun. I don't want to... Beat it up. I always come back to it too. Okay, so here we have the X's. I don't get why it doesn't always have the X, though. Like, if we go... Hmm. Alright, this is easier if it does show the X. Remember I was looking at the maps before and it wasn't showing them? It was just showing the ones I had? If it shows you where they're marked, like, if it marks where they are, that's obviously a lot easier to do. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Alan, eventually. Because um, I'll always have... Like, I'll have a Mario to play for... A while. Like, we've got a lot of Marios. Which is cool, because that's kind of what I want, right? Yeah, that's the key. I'll probably do a different one next week, maybe. Pick one of the other new ones, and then we'll, I'll do, like, random streams for 64. Unless you guys want to do that instead. I don't know, we'll sort it out. <laughs> hey, Diego. As long as people want to see it, I'll, I'm happy to play it. Wait, what was that? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, yeah, that's a kind of a cool creature, too. That's interesting. I've done this before, I'm certain. There's... that's just a piece of me. Hello. Kind of a neat mechanic here. Oh, we do this? Oh, right. Oop, not that one. Design, it's just sweet. Come see, come sa. Hi, right, what's up? Long day. No, you're not gonna get me. Okay, I don't have all the things, so we gotta figure something out here. <laughs> Me too, Diego. Wow, we'll see. 
Okay, well, there's a new place to go. There's... Okay, we're definitely getting that one. Don't do this. I could have... That's what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Oh, he's speaking French, Adam. He's practicing. Okay, how do I get in there? Oh, I guess I have to go over there. is in. Actually, I want to get both of these. I can't do a ground stomp. Hey, Damien. How's it going? Ha! They even do the chip tune for the, the song. That's cool. Just take it easy. Playing some Odyssey. How's your night going? Ooh. Can I climb up this? That'd be cool. Yup. I don't think I've done this before. And I don't think there's anything else I can get here. Oh, there was a moon up there. Yeah, he studies French at school. That's what you just said. Yeah, me too, man. It's an awesome game. <laughs> Everybody's gonna hate it because I've been like gushing about it the whole, pretty much every stream. But so impressed with this game. Like we've already finished it, we're just going through getting more moons. We're not even close to- whoop! We're not even close to being done. supposed to get you to use amiibos, which I've never used. I've got three, but I've never used them. I don't buy them for the gameplay. I mean, they could do cool stuff. I don't know. I just like to look at the 8-bit ones. That's all I've got. Like the two Marios and the... Oh, wait. Do I have to do both of them? Oh, I see. Don't be time... Oh, are you time-based? No. Nope. So oh, it is. Oh, the pink stuff got me. Okay, so we gotta be quicker here. Let's do that. <laughs> that was faster than I thought I'd do. Ooh. Actually, it looks pretty sweet when the blocks bust apart like that. They give you a location. What do you mean, Adam? I think I know what I have to do here. What? 
I thought I used him to throw. Okay, maybe not. I do, Diego. I'm pretty excited about the new movie. Am I gonna be the translator? I'll be the translator. Saying you like Star Wars. Do you? You too, I suppose. Mean. So I'm guessing you get something there if you have something that does fireballs, but I don't. I can't wait for the movie. Just hoping it doesn't, uh... Oh, do they? Oh, that's cool, Adam. I'll check that out. Does it have to be one of the, the galaxy, uh, not the galaxy, the Odyssey ones, or can it be any Mario one? Oh, sweet. Okay, I'll use one of the next one playing. As I said, I've got two of the 8-bit Marios. Like the one that's the... I don't know. One's the brown and... You know, the one that looks like Mario 1. The other one is colored. So it looks like a 16-bit. I've got the Link one, too. For Zelda. Should I try a race? I never really like the races because I never feel like I'm very fast in these games, but let's play, let's do this first. What do we got? So Zoom is one. Why do you have that one? She's probably got one for free in that glider guy. <laughs> That's funny. That's a funny rule. Oh, key. I think I've actually done that already, if it's down below me. Oh, yeah, I've done that one. Just wasted some coins, nothing to worry about. Haha! <laughs> that may not be a reliable translation. <laughs> I think Ion, Ion just did some, uh... It's called uh, reconstructive history. No, what's the term? Revisionist history. I'm really curious to see what they do with that that guy. Also, what they do with uh, like the main characters, because I think I really do think that the a lot of the trailer stuff was was kind of a troll job. I think they were just trying to. I don't think it's actually going to happen the way they presented it. That's my opinion, at least. We'll see. Like, in terms of Ray going bad, and Kylo maybe going good, and Luke maybe going bad, and Kylo killing what's her face? Uh, Leia. I, I really don't think he's gonna kill Leia. If he does, I think that's kind of a cheap move, to be honest. <laughs> To get this one down here, that's kind of neat. Well, I guess I have to. Is that all the way down? Yep. Okay, we're gonna have to see if this is This is an unnecessary risk right now. Just for three coins, but I'm gonna get it. Yay! Wait, what the heck is that? What is that? A random... okay. Okay, so... oh right, okay, we, we stomped down here. Oop. Oop, I missed that one. Wrong button. There we go.
How do we get over? Oh, we have to do the gliding guy, I guess. I don't know if I've done that note over there. I'm uh, playing with the pro controller, Adam. I really like this controller. It's quite comfortable to play with. Oh, that was close. If only there were an easy way to get back. I do most, I think I, pretty much all my playing I do on the Pro Controller. Um, except when I'm mobile, but since I've been, since I started this channel, I haven't played any mobile anymore, but I played a lot of my first playthrough on Breath of the Wild on mobile. Oops. Actually, that's not true. Sorry. By mobile, I mean I took the screen with me, but I still use the Pro Controller. I don't think I've ever played... I've played a very tiny amount of, this, of, the, of any of the games with the, like the Joy-Cons attached. I find it a little uncomfortable on the left hand with the... Not the left, the right hand, sorry. Where the thumbstick is. It's just a little awkward, I find. Pro Controller is super comfortable. It's a little expensive. Like, I don't know why it's as expensive as it is, but... It's worth it, I'd say. You don't have to buy it right away, but it's a nice controller. Yeah, I don't know why they chart. I mean, is it 10, 15 bucks more than anybody else? I'm not sure why they did that. Aside from kind of greed. <laughs> Hopefully there's something more to it than that. Drop, can I move? Oh, at least I didn't die. Ah! <laughs> I don't think I got this one. Ah, uh, it's September, I think. Yeah, it was September. But I bought uh, Breath of the Wild that launch. So I played it straight for like, I think I finished it in, I don't know, May or so? And the DLC came out and I picked it up again. But uh, I just started doing my other replay, um, maybe a couple couple weeks ago. Maybe a month ago, I don't know. I think we just, we've done 14 streams, so. I think that's what it was, 14, something like that. That's such an amazing game, though. I have no problem replaying it all over again. I suppose I could replay this one all over again, too. Oh, I forgot. I don't have a hat. I'm trying to do my hat tricks. Oh, it's this one. Ah! Oh, why? this thing though there's something maybe it's just to look good I don't know that one goes down oh wait a sec maybe I can nope oh that's just a little secret okay Take this guy over. I don't think I can break stuff with these guys, can I? Oop. Can 
What is that thing? Oh, there might be something there. Okay, so what can we use to break the blocks? I don't see any of those guys that throw anything. He won't hit me all the way over here if I... Sun. Oops. I don't know what's up with these butterflies here. It's... That's weird. It uh, vibrates here. <laughs> All right, that's kind of neat, though. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't think. Whoop! That's not what I wanted. I don't think it's gonna work. Nope. I can't make it all the way back there, and he's dead. So I'm not sure how we break those bricks. Because there's something there. But... All right, let's. So you can't take over that guy. What? Is that one just sitting there? What the heck? <laughs> That's random. <laughs> See, at this point in the game, they're, they're just like, some of the stuff is just lying around. Some of it's actually like levels and whatnot. There's another... Are these just for show, or is this supposed to indicate something? Anyway. We're going down here. I think we already did this, but... This there is another power... Okay. He's actually kind of useful sometimes. But where would there be another one? It probably has something to do with lighting one of these things, but... Okay, that's the thing, okay. So this guy shoots fire, so I probably can get one here. Oh cool, I didn't know you- I, I haven't seen any custom ones yet. I just the regular gray ones. Something fishy about that. Uh, not being. Lit. Where'd you get that done, Diego?
Nope. It's actually doing pretty quick. I might die here. I might die. Oh, oh no. Oh. Yeah, I can't believe I survived that. That was another one of those should have died moments. <laughs> There should be a cheap one from Toad around here, but I haven't seen him. I'll get one from Racing Him, but I'm not a huge fan of Racing. I've already gotten that one. Okay, let's do one more level. We get a fair bit of them. Even though I kind of wandered around for probably the first half hour. Oh, cool. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't, uh, yeah. yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking Metro has a lot, so let's go to Metro. There are lots of areas. Like, Metro is a massive level. Oh, really? Oh, so you're actually, I thought, uh, huh. Well, it'll look better than if it were just like a sticker or something, so. I'd be interested to see the inside of one. I've... I don't know how much there is. It's probably just a little circuit board. But still, it's it'd be cool to see. Because there is like a vibration thing in the Joy-Con, right? And uh, you have whatever. Uh, it also has a, gy uh, a gyroscope, right? Okay, I gotta change my outfit. Because this is not looking as good in this level. I mean, it's, it works, just the colors seem better. Up. I'm guessing if you spell it correctly. Maybe you get something? It's fine. Oh, I see. These things here. Got it. <laughs> it would be cool to like watch these guys working when they were you know, designing this. Must have had so much... It. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they must be pretty tight because I mean they put them in cell phones too, right? So but it's impressive how much force they put out. You know what that is? Yeah, that's what that is. Um, they just showed you, but that's the picture of Mario from Donkey Kong, the original Donkey Kong arcade. He looks a little... <laughs> that's from the original game. It'd be cool if you could take over the car. Oh, I didn't know you... Did I know that? Okay. 
thought you might get some. I was curious about the little screws down there, but I'll take that. Oh, it's not even screws, just pylons. with the hat that's hilarious Yeah, so as I was saying before, when I first saw this level, I was really weirded out by it. Because <clears throat> it just looked too real, it didn't look like the Magic Kingdom, you know, there were people randomly. But, uh, it's actually pretty fun to play. Because there's so many places to hide, it's just a massive level. And it, it works out. It's also, uh, there's some interesting story stuff in this level too. I said this before in the stream, but the funny thing is, they use the name Pauline, but Pauline's the name of the girl from the original Donkey Kong game. I don't know. How... I, don't know. I was surprised by that. Not surprised, but thought it was a little Easter egg, I guess. Or a little reference, rather. Okay. She wants. She's asking me if I want to learn a little bit of her. Bit of an ego in this one, eh? Oh, I have no idea. Why would I know this? Oops. Hmm. Okay, let's try again. Oh? Yeah, fun uh. is not the word I'd use. Hmm? Oh, jeez. Let's go with that. Uh -uh. Oh, come on now. Hmm. She's, she's not even telling me the right answers. I guess we're going to have to go oh? do a trial and error here. Alright, Pauline, what do you got? Hmm? Oh man, no luck. Ah. I thought they were trying to trick us. Well, now I have to know. Oh? I mean, not actually know, I just figure I get a, a moon out of this. Ah. Hmm? Oh, jeez. Uh -uh. <laughs> I 
suck. Mm. Oh? So maybe last try. We'll see. <laughs> Wait, what? That's the answer I have talked about before. That was a lucky end. Give me the. Come on. Oh, wow. She's really into it. Give me a moon. What? I totally thought I'd get a moon out of that. A little disappointing, guys. No, I, this is a different song, I think. No, I think. Oh, you can still hear the steel drums. That's what it was. I kind of want to go to the roof, not there. I don't know why there's so much rage for the people here. But there is. I feel like I have to hit them with my hat. Okay, let's go in here. Why not? Have I been here? It doesn't seem that familiar. Oh, I knew there was going to be another one. Ha! It's actually a lot easier in 2D than it is in 3D. Sweet. Of course it's over there. Are you serious? Oh, that's funny. The sound effect is from. Uh, oh, that is frustrating. I needed that to give to a selfish lady. Okay, we'll go back. Funny thing is, the sound effect there when you pick up the 
don't know if anyone cares about this, but the sound effect, the sound effect is when you jump in Donkey Kong. So not only do I have to remember random, well, not even remember, guess at random things. You have to give her a, a purse. <laughs> oh well. Oh. Yeah. Would have been really funny to watch the uh, the voice actress do this. <laughs> Act all like super excited, and she'd be like in some recording room by herself. <laughs> These are the things that kind of I don't know why they come to my mind. Super fun. Now we go back. Throw you if you just find out. Two turn. I wonder if I stay here, does he throw me back? Nope. Just kind of. Hmm. Is he saying game over? About that shot. I mean, there's a moon over there for sure. Okay, I think he is saying game over. No, oh, I can't do all the all the way on the top. I'm gonna have to just go on that second part. Oh, wrong one. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> See you later, Diego. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, so now we've got to figure out... How do we... Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. That can do it. Alright, so... Where's the place I wanted to be? Maybe there's something inside here. Okay, let's get out of there. So how do we... Where is it again? 
There it is. See, I thought maybe if you stepped here, it would, you know, throw you. But it's not fast enough. Okay, that. What's that about? Ooh, okay. I didn't think I'd make that. Sweet. Now how I've gotta do it again. Oh sweet. Okay. Now how do we get out of here? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting to get it on the first try, that's for sure. There's some purple things. Purple coins, whatever. Hey there. Okay, there's another one of those birds. See, it's difficult to, to actually catch them, though. Plus, they go on a fairly lengthy track, so... Can we get up? Or is that... Have I been in here? Let's find out. Maybe? I don't know. It's difficult to tell, but I don't see a moon, so that's not encouraging. Is that one up there? No, there's a bunch of those little guys. Can I look? No, I can't look. Let's go back out. There wasn't any music in here anyway. that guy doing there? That's kind of random. There's a scooter here. <laughs> okay, I don't think I've done this. What? What? Oh my. No. Well, that was <laughs> frustrating. I guess I have to roll. I never roll on purpose though. I always do it by accident. Okay, yeah, we went that far. Wait a second. I want those coins. Okay, man, suck it up. I also don't know what that's about. Let's talk to this guy. Looked it, which was interesting, but that looks mighty suspicious. There is a random dumpster on top of a. Come on, there's got to be something in there, right? Can't just be a dumpster on top. Of... <laughs> really? I don't think I can. Ma I can't make that. So how do we get up there? There's got to be some other way. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Why didn't I catch that? Ooh. Handling is not amazing. Oh, that was close. You hear the ding? Of course. Bye. The, there wasn't really an exit strategy here. <laughs> can I take this down? That'd be kind of cool. Or can we somehow get up here? I mean, can we even jump inside? I'm so curious about that, but there's probably nothing there. Okay, let's drive this thing off the ledge. Wait. Did we lose it? What was that about? I guess it's gone. This is like a really, uh, it's kind of like an open world level. It's, it's fun to have for a murder game. It's like a bunch of random stuff. It's almost, it reminds me kind of of a, well actually no, it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it kind of does, in a really weird way, is uh, Arkham City. But, uh, I like Arkham City. Hmm. I really don't want to let me go in. It's a really weird comparison, Arkham City to Mario Odyssey, but it's more just like how big the world was. I mean, a Grand Theft Auto would also work. As a comparison. Another weird comparison, to be honest, but in terms of the size of the, and the scale of the city, I'm just, I mean, obviously not. Grand Theft Auto is bigger than this. I just mean the feeling. For a Mario game. That's a little bit more. Oh, another scooter one, eh? Whoop. What? Yeah, I'm suspicious of those. Okay. Such weird handling. Maybe with jumping? Oh no. What? So close! <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's try it again. Jump, buddy! <laughs> okay, sweet. Take a little break here. It's gonna be okay. I should have gone that way. And where is it? Okay, there it is. I wonder what the other way, what it gives you. I'm really curious. Maybe I have to try that again? I think so. Just in case there was something in... Because that other place was much harder than the way I took. Just one try. If it, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I just gotta know. <laughs> yeah, you do. There you go. So there is another one. It wouldn't make sense to have... That area that destructs and not get some for it. Ooh, why? Why? 
Why? Why did I try? Okay, I got it. One more try. I don't know why, why I bothered with that. It's just coins. It's not even the hard part I wanted to try. Get the scooter. Take this over there. Okay, can we do it? That could have been a fun reward. I'm not walking. Okay, but the, the humans in this in the stores are creepy as hell. I just I don't know. I don't know what it is. It just bugs me. <laughs> Like, why does that have to be 9,999? Come on, Nintendo. Okay. We want this. Yeah, it's so creepy. Nope. What does one of this? Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change my outfit. Because, okay. I don't know. Just we feels wrong. This. Except in the one level. Yeah, it looks fun, but I'm not really a pasta kind of guy. Cool. Well, Pirate Mario is pretty funny too, though. No, that's not what it. Don't. That's not what I wanted. I do want that skull. I don't know why I want it, but I do. Wait, is that what we're supposed to be? Is that what matches? We just have enough for this, but not for that stuff. Okay. 
<laughs> Maybe later. tired of this for some reason. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, I'm obviously missing something here because I'm gonna run. That was, that was way too slow. Huh. Okay. Go the wrong side. <laughs> I did too. Uh, oh, but that's what I want to do. Oh, I forgot about this. That's pretty cool. As long as I don't die. <laughs> Wasn't sure for a second there. Okay, so apparently I missed one here somewhere. Wait a second, there's one right here. Ha! How do I get there? It's one of those flower things. Can I jump out of this? Nope. That'd be really funny if I could just, uh, or just, ah, I see. Sonic's big move there, right? <laughs> I guess they're buddies now. <clears throat> Back in the day, that wouldn't have been a fly. Okay, so here we've got there. Okay, sweet.
How do we get this thing? Wait a second. Oh, that's probably the... Oh, okay. Ooh, it's not happening. Ha ha ha! Oh. I'm glad that doesn't actually kill me. I remember these stairs. Actually, may as well go over there. There's another moon. Why is there a football here? <laughs> I, I enjoyed this game again like Zelda rewards your curiosity it doesn't look that big from up here but it Change the music by hitting it. Where's Princess again? Okay, what? Where'd she go? Okay, how do we get over there? Let's go here. Oops. 
Okay, well, we have to get that, because otherwise it's going to disappear. What are you going to say? Do I have the inspector outfit? I don't know if I've gone in there either. Is there another ledge I can... Oof. I'm so curious about that place, but I'm not going to get it. Oh! I made it. I didn't expect that either. Is that a different one? Let's do this one. I think it's different. <laughs> Hopefully. No, I... Yeah, we've been here before. Okay. Wait a second. She didn't say anything this time. Okay, I want to go back. I thought I saw something. Yeah, it is a really good one. As I was saying before, this was one that worried me when I first saw it in the trailer, but I, it grew on me big time. And you're right, it's probably, it's probably, it's probably my favorite. If not my favorite, one of my favorites for sure. Okay, I'm gonna go back anyway, just to see. I don't think I have anything to get. The Sand Kingdom is great. That's one of the ones I was thinking about. There's a lot of personality in that level. That's what I keep doing. I keep accidentally rolling instead of doing my uh, my jump. I've always had that issue for some reason. Like one out of every five times I do that. I never noticed that you stay purple if you get hit. Like throw it a bit. Oh man. <laughs> this is this is getting fun. This is when I start dying really stupidly, repeatedly. I wouldn't notice. That. I just did it again. Okay, let's practice here. Oh, it's because I'm. I see what's happening. I'm pressing the wrong. Button. Oh, I almost did it again. I think he's laughing at me dying. 
What are you doing in here? Thanks. Makes me think you're hiding something. I can become. Oh, oh right, okay. Guys, I can tell I'm just not 100% right now. Oh, Oh my god. Alright. Hey Flame. How you doing? So now we've just gotta flip it around. Let's see how this goes. Doing well, Flame Water. How you doing? Just taking it easy, playing some. I wanted to say Galaxy again. Playing some Odyssey. Having a lot of fun with it. 
We've already passed the game, we're just looking for moons, but it's, uh... It's still a lot of fun. Especially in this level. This level can hide so much stuff. Have you played this game yet? Yeah, it's a great game. I'm a massive fan of it too. <laughs> I can totally see myself replaying this game again, not that far in the future. It's that good. Like, you always find something new that you missed. Okay, I'm not going up there again. Oh, what was the thing? We found a place we couldn't get into unless we were the inspector, but I think that's where we just were. Oh, you haven't played it yet? Yeah, I know you'll love it for sure. If you're a Mario fan, uh, it blew me away. They'll probably end up having bundles with uh, Odyssey in it. So you'll probably be able to get it in a bundle for cheaper. If not this holidays, maybe by the summer. Wait, do they have one already? I haven't checked the bundles. Oh, nice, man. You'll you'll have a lot of fun with it. I'm kind of jealous because uh, you get to experience all this stuff for the first time. And now you don't have to wait. Like there are already two awesome games for the system. Did I just <coughs> did I just really do that? <laughs> I guess so. Hey, Abelia. How you doing? We've already ha <laughs> problem is a lot of these look very similar. Oh, I haven't checked out the glitches yet. I noticed there were a couple videos on it recently. I'll probably check that out, because apparently there's a lot. Well, that turned out better than I thought it would. Oh, neat. Okay. Wait a sec, what's going on here? There we go. What? That just really messed up my direction. I'm gonna start over again. Yeah, I have a feeling that's what it was gonna be. Maybe I will. I will watch some tomorrow, probably. I love that they use this music. And I suck at this one, so I'm not going to do it. I already got the moon anyway. <laughs> I always mess up that matching. It's so easy to accidentally hit more than one. <laughs> I wish you could do multiples of those, though. That's where he did. Hey, I'm RCP. That's ready. Welcome.
Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'll try that out. All these little rocket things. Wait a second, is that, um... Sorry, I'm, sorry uh, I'm RCP. I don't. I don't know if any of the other guys do. I don't speak Spanish, though. So, this is the one I saw before, okay. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> hey, puppet. Nice, I'm RCP. You got me. <laughs> Some people do come in here and speak other languages and I can't, can't say anything back. Okay, maybe it's over here. There we go. You know, sweet. Okay. That was pretty fun. What time is it? It's... Uh, it's midnight here. This one, it's the classic. I think it's called the classic. Just the classic outfit. I'll check. I think we're close by. Yeah. What time is it where you are? Oh, I can't believe I lived. That was another one of those moments where I... <laughs> it happens. Okay, well, wait. What's going on here? Okay, so there's not a big time difference. Sometimes there are massive differences. Depending on where people are, obviously. That's a lot of dumb things to say. <laughs> I can tell I need to sleep. Thanks, Flame Water. Welcome. Happy to have you here. Oh, that didn't do much. Okay, where's the exit then? Tell me there's an exit. <laughs> Oh, 
What? How could there be another one? We just got one here. Where can there... We can't go in there. What could I be missing? Wait, can I talk to you? Can't go in there. Okay, you can't talk to all of them, so maybe I have to talk to one of them. Looking for the speech bubble. <laughs> This time. Okay, where's the talker? Come on, talker. Only one of them had the little speech bubbles. Gusselin cycles. I'm hoping so, otherwise, it's a big waste of time. Also, hoping that this actually does something. Oh, he's still got a hat. Ha! That's kind of cool. That would that'd be really easy to miss that one there. That would definitely be a more difficult one to find. Like that was just random. I happened to see the speech bubbles. exactly like this, but it's different. Classic suit. I guess we could change this. Oh, no! 
So what am I missing? There's gotta be some faster way, because I don't think I was going that slow. Is that the roll? Should I roll? <laughs> oh, nice! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna wait for this one. Oh, that worked. Difficult. Okay, nice. Okay, that would have really bothered me if I can get that. That's a good, good last move. Let's go back and save. Good. <laughs> I really didn't want to get stuck on one at this point. I was worried that I might up there because it seemed like I was going way too slow. <laughs> yeah, that was rewarding. I was, I was a little concerned. That was a pretty productive haul there. Happy with how that went. How close are we? 331. Okay, we're doing good. Ooh. I'll save that for next time. Alright guys, well I'm thinking we're gonna stop it here for the night. Uh, I gotta make a late dinner as usual and then that's about it. But uh, guys, thanks for hanging out tonight. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, playing some uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I'll probably be streaming beforehand too. I haven't been doing the, the earlier streams in the afternoon, but I'm feeling like it tomorrow. So check back to see and uh, yeah, have a good night. And again, thanks for hanging out. See you guys later. Cheers.